everyone, it is Monday here at Craft Clutch and I am in the craft room and I have a new craft for you and it's going to involve your dreams. This craft was inspired by wishes and worries and dreams coming true and all of that kind of a thing. And this could be made for a kid or it could be made for an adult um, and it's just kind of, I don't know, kind of fun, I think. I remember when my nephew was young, I had these little worry dolls um, that a friend had gotten me in Egypt. She brought him back and, you know, he was, you know, kind of always thinking, always thinking and he'd worry about things. And I remember having him use it. He was staying over and I had him use it, tell each doll a little worry and put it under his pillow. And it seemed to help a little bit. And I thought I would do a different version of the same kind of a concept. You can use um, any size box, any shape box, but I'm going to use this little one that I happen to have. You can go bigger, you can go smaller. This one's divided. doesn't have to be. You can do any shape, anything. I'm going to use, this is from, these are from Michael's Wish and Dream. You can buy individual letters. You can put a name on there. Um, this is kind of what I'm going for on this one. Now what I am going to do is take off the hardware off of here. <clears throat> and this box I had gotten at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be going with purple, blue, and black. I'm going to do the inside purple and I'll do the outside blue. This will take at least two coats. I have the box painted. Inside is purple. The outside is this very pale blue. So this is what it looks like and on this top one I'm going to do polka dots just on the outside so it's not quite so plain. And I'm using just the end of my paintbrush. You've seen me do this before. I'm going to try to space it somewhat evenly so I start in the middle, go to each end, then I go in the middle of both of those, then in between. Now I'm going to do the same on this side. Now I'll let those dry before I do the other two sides. Now I'm going to be using some silver embellishments and that creates a problem with my hardware which is gold. I could take them outside and spray paint them and that would work fine. But what I'm going to do instead is I have this um, rub and buff silver leaf and it's a wax that goes on. I'm using a glove just because it's a lot easier to do that then have to wash it off my fingers. So you just rub it right on there, set it aside to dry. Now if you're wondering where you can get this, you can get it at the craft store or if you head on over to my website craftclutch.com, I will have a link to where you can purchase it online and I have the directions for this all written out there as well. Now I'm waiting for some stuff to dry before I can start putting some stuff back together and doing stuff and what I'm going to do is have dream be on the outside in black and I have written wishes and worries dreams do come true may your wishes be granted may your worries be few and I'm going to have that down in the bottom corner here and all of this I'll have all of this written over on my website craftclutch.com you can find it and you can use it on your projects too or write your own here's my little trip to tear it I'm going to fold it I have a little bit of water on my finger and I'm just going to make it a little bit wet right along that edge. Now I'm working with a laser jet printer so it's not going to smear. If you're doing inkjet that would make it smear so you don't want to do that you just want to be aware. And the corners will get a little bit wet and that's a perfect time to just kind of yank some little pieces off of there and then you can just kind of crumple it, uncrumple it now you want to make sure that you can fit it in and I'm going to repeat that with the one for this side, this side, and the one for the front. Alright guys, I'm going to use a good old coffee staining technique. I have some coffee here. I'm going to put it on, just paint it on. You could dip it in and do it that way. I would rather do it, just do it this way. It's just easier. Then I'm just going to blot it off with a paper towel. And there you go. It'll dry and it'll be a little more solid, but now it's not just a stark white piece of paper. Now I'm going to use some Mod Podge and I'm going to attach these pieces. They're still a little bit damp, which is totally fine. And I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the back. I'll carefully lift it, carefully position it, and then start to pat it down. 
because it's already damp, um, it lets it lay a little bit better. And I'm just going to do the Mod Podge all over the bottom here. And I'll come and put a second coat on that, but I'm going to do the same here. So the inside has this in here. I'm going to put another coat on there. And here is the Dream, all painted black. And I am going to put that on there. I'm kind of just placing stuff. Here is my little poem. And I thought a key on here would be fun. And I had a little metal birdcage thing, which I thought would be fun. I have this piece from, I don't know when. It's a, it's a little piece of costume jewelry, and it's a pin. But what I'm going to do is just take my wire cutters and cut the backing off. So I'm going to have that laying here, and this is what the box top is going to look like. I didn't want to go too crazy with the colors. I was trying to stay a little more neutral. I'm not putting this stuff on yet. I just want to place so I know where to put this. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge like I did on the inside, and I'm going to attach this to the front. The bottom of the box has dried, and now what I'm planning on doing is just doing a little satin varnish. I'm going to do it on the inside and I'm going to do it on the outside, but I'm going to do the whole thing with this satin varnish just to protect it. You can do one coat, two coats, three coats, whatever you think you want to do. Just let it dry between the coats. And once I do that all over, we are going to come back and put everything together and I'm going to varnish this as well. Everything is sealed and dried. Now I have to put everything back together and I am going to put the hardware back on. Now I have a piece of parchment paper in here um, so overnight as it's drying it's not going to stick together. But I need to put this stuff on and I'm going to start with the Dream. I'm using some clear drying glue. You don't want it too thick because you don't want it to run out from under or squish out from under. So I'll carefully place this down. The same with the metal bird cage. And this will adhere to metal, so that's a very important thing to keep in mind. So put a thin layer underneath. Do the same with the key. And then I have this piece. So I want to put a lot on there because it kind of goes in. And there's that. So now I'm going to let all of this just sit and dry overnight, and then we will come and check it all out when it's done. Okay guys, here's the dream box. We've got the decorations on there. We've got everything is sticking where it's supposed to be. we got the little note that says, wishes and worries, dreams do come true. May your wishes be granted. May your worries be few. And then you open it up, and you've got... Right before bed, put your worries on this side. May your worries be lifted and replaced with peace and sweet dreams. On this side, put your wishes and dreams on this side. Each day you come closer to your wishes and dreams coming true. And you can attach, you know, you could put in a, like a little pen or pencil in here with it and one of those like small sticky pads or just small pieces of paper. And here you can see the hardware is now silver. Got the polka dots, and there it is. So this would be a fun gift, and it would be fun for um, a kid. It would be fun for an adult. It would be fun for your friend that's going away to college. It would be fun for somebody going and starting a new job or moving someplace. You know, whatever adventure is before them, this would be a great thing to give them and personalize it. So I hope you like it. Hope you give it a try, you guys. I would love to see anything that you come up with. Share it on my Facebook page. And we will see you next time. Happy crafting. And let me know what your wishes and dreams are in the comments below. We'll see you next time, guys. Yeah.